let me uh, start up live split myself. Just, just, just as reference. Hey guys, how are we doing? Wow, the title screen. I know, I did not realize this was coming. Anyway, um, we got Naro here getting ready to do his double run back to back. Of, yeah. Firstly, will be Yo 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 Yo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I am sorry. I'm gonna butcher this one. <laughs> and then next, thank God, Scarlet Curiosity. Couldn't pronounce that. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> oh boy. And I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this. Oh, gotta stop the music. Always gotta remember that. There we go. All I right. You guys can hear us over that. And I will let Naro take over from here, my dude. Okay. Like thank second. you very much. Very much. Thanks. All right. So, hello. I I am Naro. I uh, I will be running. Oh, hold on. I forgot something. I will be running uh, t two games back to back. Both of them, uh, two who fan to Toho fan games, made by the same developers. Um, I'll start with this one. Um, let's see. I'll be running uh, the category 100% no extra, which means. Uh, Fight all the bosses and collect all the upgrades, which is just a couple minutes longer than any percent, but it's still it's still a decent chunk longer, relatively speaking. Hold on, uh, what happened? <laughs> oh right, I closed the game to restart. Hold on, PS4 controller, please. I want to need to reset the controller. One minute, please. All right, there we go. So, uh, open the game. Uh, one minute, one, one, one moment, please. I've got everything under control. Don't worry. Uh, this should do it. There we go. Okay, hi, welcome. This is Yo Yo Kenge Kibuso. It's um, it is a Toho fan game from 2011, and uh, you you fan game peeps are probably familiar with 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 Toho, either the characters and music or the bullets or the uh, or the knives. Um, yeah, this is a fan game that's more like a 3D action platformer, and uh, we are ready to start the timer right now. I think. Uh, let, uh, are you ready to start the timer? Yep. All right, good. Go. So, uh, on zero. Okay, three, two, one, zero. All right, so this is a Toho fan game. It's an action platformer similar to um, East Origin in particular. Uh, you have three basic skills from beginning to end. Uh, one's a dash attack, one's a uh, ranged spear attack, and one's a whirlwind attack. I'll be using the dash attack for the most part. And uh, I'm jumping constantly um, because your max speed into the air is higher than your speed on the ground. So I, I want to stay in the air as long as possible and dash every now and then. So I'm going to try and clip through this these logs here by using my D-pad and pressing down and, le down and left while I mash dash and uh, hopefully clip through, but I didn't make it, but that's fine. I'm just gonna do a little detour and um, actually just go to the boss the, the, the normal way. Uh, risking, risking, um, let, let's see, do, going for that a second time um, might be a bit risky because it's possible to uh, clip out of bounds and fall into the void and have to restart from the start of the level. So here's the first mini-boss, or yeah, mid-boss, Cherno. Uh, she's not, I mean, she's very, very strong, so the only way to defeat her is to be a dirty cheater. <laughs> so uh, by pushing enemies into a corner and dashing, you can push enemies th through the walls uh, certain in certain, certain, in certain corners. Uh, and uh, Cherno is the only character you can do that to, to actually defeat them. Um, so yeah, I pick up these yellow orbs. These are necessary for 100% completion. And um, the, the mid-bosses are just 
like arbitrarily decided to be necessary for this category because it, it, it makes the game a little bit longer, a little bit more interesting, so you can, you can do more stuff, so it makes it different from any percent. And, um, let's see... Ah, what haven't I explained? If, if, there are, if there are any questions, just feel free to ask. Let's see... So I just beat the mid-boss Cherno by pushing her into the void and uh, knocking her out like that. And that's the only, only, only boss you can do that to. So uh, let's see, here's the last yellow orb. There are three on every stage. And uh, every third you gather increases your, uh, let's see, uh, your yellow orb count. You use yellow orbs to perform your special attacks. And uh, below my health bar, there's a blue, uh, yellow square meter. That's um, that's my spell card meter, and uh, I need a full meter to perform this spell card attack that deals a pretty hefty amount of damage. And uh, I'm going to be mashing regular attack and special attack over and over. That resets my uh, melee attack combo, like. I keep doing the first hit in the melee combo. So I keep doing 12 damage over and over. Um, the different hits in your standard 4 hit combo uh, have different damage numbers. Like your first hit deals 12, your second hit deals 10 damage, and then, then 13 and 10 again. So, um, it is, uh, it is, it is, uh, it is, it is more efficient to just reset your combo and just do the first attack over and over for higher damage per second, as well as, as well as, uh, uh, as well as using your special attack whenever it's available. So just mashing is actually the most efficient way of doing damage. So, uh, same here, three, three yellow orbs on this stage. The, the, the other two are in a cave. And uh, I'm gonna try some cool tricks using my spell card to uh, to to, uh, to void out during a mini cutscene. Like every time you pick up a yellow orb, there's a mini cutscene that plays. That fills fills one of the holes. And uh, I'm gonna try try a neat trick that saves a couple of seconds. Let's see. Uh, so, th so the music, the music on this stage is not from any official Toho games. Like the music was released on a music CD released by Zun. It's not from any any other games. And uh, let's see. Ah, uh, that was not supposed to happen. All right. So the third one, I can do something neat with the third one. If I don't touch that checkpoint, that's good. Alright, so... By using my spell card and flinging myself off the edge, I spawn closer to where I want to go next during the little mini cutscene. So that's, that saves a couple of seconds. Alright, so coming up is a rather infamous log. It, it, it's got some pretty weird uh, pr properties. So you don't want you don't want to mess around with that log too much. So I spell card this jar to damage the boss during its introduction, and um, stun lock it by using this range attack and alternating with the ranged attack and my melee attack. And uh, the boss does this spell card attack at certain percentages. So if I do enough damage after after my spell card. I can push her into her spell card phase immediately. Also, uh, this boss Marisa, she she runs she runs away after you hit her five times with your sword. Um, your spear attack doesn't count as a hit in terms of uh, when the boss runs away. So by alternating like this, she stays stunned for longer. Uh, I, I hit a jar off screen that uh, uh, maintained my combo. So I, I hit a jar off screen. And um, that let me keep my combo through the, uh, through the boss's uh, Master Spark. 
And uh, yeah, so I I I um I discovered that a couple of months ago. I was like, well, this 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 is this is some good stuff. All right, so this this uh, this stage this stage uh, has a lot of uh, a lot of platforms, like moving platforms. Uh, this one, this one spawns in a random location when you enter the area, but um, you always have to wait the same amount of time for, for for that previous one and this one and the next one to bring you to bring you uh, to your destination. So, uh, so where this platform group starts is completely random. So. So the first platform decides how long, or how, how fast your first platform cycle is. Like, I can't, I can't make, okay, that one, that one was random. Like, there are different, uh, like, platform groups. So, um, so this platform here is in a different platform group and can, uh, be in a completely different location compared to the previous group. Same with this one. Like the platforms are completely random, but they come in groups. So, so these platforms, for instance, are connected. And then, and then here's another platform group. Like they're they're grouped together for for your convenience, half the time. All right, so I'm gonna do a triple dash jump here, and that lets me skip a cycle here. Like I reach this one quick enough, so I don't have to wait for the next cycle. And uh, coming up is a mini boss very soon after I pick up this yellow orb. And um, this boss is skipped in any percent, but um, it's more fun. It's more fun fighting them. All right, let's see. So if I attack her once and spell card, she usually does an attack I can punish with my spell card. And I switch to my whirlwind here. So she 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 pulls up her shield after five hits, and I use my whirlwind attack to do as much damage in one combo. And I look at her tail to to see when she's about to drop her guard. So I just I just stare at the, stare at the tail all day, and uh, if I if I do this correctly, I got I get an extra hit in. So if I get that extra hit in, I. Uh, I, I make the game think I beat the boss twice, pretty much. So my yellow spell card meter at the bottom right fills up twice as much after I beat Momiji, the the, the, the wolf girl I just beat. Um, so yeah, that that fills up the meter even more. So if I didn't if I didn't pull off that trick, I wouldn't have enough spell card uh, j j juice to <laughs> pull off another spell card before the boss fight. So, uh, since I have enough spell card to juice to use another spell card, I can throw myself into the water and be in control during the, this cutscene here. So, uh, if I didn't pull off that trick against Momiji, I uh, wouldn't be able to pull that off as easily. And by performing a very specific number of attacks, I can glitch the boss into being stuck in this attack mode, letting me push her into this phase by trading blows for a couple seconds. So, by 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 uh, hitting her a specific number of times and then pausing for a second to allow her to attack, she gets stuck in that attack animation for its full duration. Because normally she she gets stunned and stops her attack and uh, goes on the defensive, but that's something you can do to speed up this fight a bit. Alright, that's Mo- that's Aya. That, that's Aya. That was a pretty damn good uh, waterfall stage. Okay, so I'm gonna hit these guys a bit to get a 5-hit combo, because your combo determines how fast your energy regenerates, how fast your yellow, yellow, uh, yellow orbs regenerate. And I can dash up here with the right timing. There's a yellow jar here. Now I need to leave this cave, or <laughs> cage. 
And uh, if I'm fast enough, I can attack this fairy here before my combo expires. And uh, keep the uh, energy regeneration bonus that I built up. And I didn't get sniped by the fairies on top, that's good. So that's all three yellow orbs on this stage. Uh, normally you're supposed to explore two huge areas to the left and right of the main center room, but with this many, uh, this many uh, skill orbs, I can do a jump here. That skips both gates that I should have to open to get to the boss, but with four dashes, I can easily jump over both gates and just go straight to the boss. So here's a giant robot. <laughs> no sound effects. Awkward silence. <laughs> so you're supposed to de you're supposed to destroy the arms first, so the boss becomes vulnerable. And uh, you're supposed to get knocked down by these shockwaves, but your dash attack has iframes that you can utilize to never fall down and just keep attacking the head. The head is the weak. Th the head is the true health bar of the boss. And if I fall out of bounds here by dashing into that corner, I can go up and f f f uh, smack Sanae around a bit and use that to get a combo. A combo of 15, and that will refill my energy faster on this level. So now I can, uh, let's see, set up this jump quicker. I, I move that frog away because it's in the way and likes to uh, push you around. Ah, dang it. So this jump is the most difficult in the game, for sure. Like, there's, you need a very specific setup for this jump. And a very specific timing, and uh, let's see if I can get it a second try. So I stand in this particular spot. Ooh, nice. And jump at a particular time. And that skips a 10 to 15 second uh, platforming section. So yeah, you, if you get it first try, that's 10 seconds in the bag. And uh, a lot of people think it's too risky to do in a real run, but I'd, I'd do it anyway. My success rate is relatively high for such a risky trick. All right, so so, so this is Reimu's stage. Bunch of yin-yang orbs has got a break to open up these, uh, these barriers. And uh, I'm going to use this whirlwind attack to hit one underwater behind a cage. Boop. To open up very specific barriers, I'm gonna I'm gonna only open up enough barriers to get access to uh, the three three jars, and I, I avoid that checkpoint so that I can respawn closer to this place and hit another uh, orb here to open up the path to the last of the yellow jars. Also, I'm going to use my D-pad here to um, to get the necessary angle for this clip. All right, so you hold it down left, and that's good enough. All right, so I was I forgot to there's there's a way to pick up all three at once by making them trail you. Like uh, let's see, you can make him trail you like so, and you can outrun them by dashing. But uh. That was too late. Alright, so coming up is Reimu. Reimu is a very difficult boss on hard mode. She does a lot of damage. She has some, she has some pretty nasty attacks, but... Um, let's see, spell card to start, do some damage. But I'm going to use my dash attacks iframes to avoid some attacks. Oh, that's not... I'm not a very good attack to start with. So dash through that attack to avoid taking damage as much as possible. 
And uh, by standing here, I will not take damage from this spell card. And I hit a jar off screen to uh, to 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 save my combo from expiring. There we go. And then another spell card. Hit another jar to keep my combo alive until the end of the spell card. And uh, please be nice, Raymu. There's a chance she'll pull up her barrier just as you, just as you, uh, um, just as you pull off your. Uh, just as you pull off the damaging part of the spell card. So the spell card's got two parts, the f time freezing part and the uh, damaging part. And on the one frame that time unfreezes, she, she can pull up her barrier and nullify your spell card's damage. Just like that. So it's a, it's a real gamble, spell carding Reimu at any point. So, coming up is the final boss. Yomu's teacher, Yuyuko. The world record for this category is 1915, as far as I know. Alright, so, when she pulls off that spin spinny attack, that's my perfect chance to use my own spell card, because she, she pretty much cannot punish me. Uh, punish me when she's uh, when she's recovering from the attacks ending lag so yeah she is invulnerable during the spin attacks uh, startup and uh, come up is phase two it's a pretty straightforward uh, like survival phase I just need to Jump over those and dash through those. And be safe. I need to survive eight waves of... Eight waves of this attack. And it gets increasingly intense. But none of that matters, because you can just jump over the first and dash th through the second wave. Just like there's like no risk. So time is coming up in about... Uh, soon? I don't know how long is left, I just listen to the music to tell when the fight is over. Alright, coming up soon. Uh, time. That was pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Okay, so here's a picnic. This is your standard Toho ending. And everyone's present. Even th the frog. Characters characters that don't even appear in the game. Alright, cool. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, uh... Uh, I guess next up is Scarlet Curiosity. Um, should I just? Uh, yep. Just, just. Uh, I mean, you can just go ahead and switch. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch you on the back end here, because I mean, it'll be your run anyway. So. Yeah. Let's see. I'm like, I just need to launch the game, and I'm good to go. So, guys, we are going to see out Naro here. Naro back in. All right. Just give us a second. Let's see. 